Now that the latest climate conference is underway in Glasgow, Scotland, and Greta Thunberg has once again shown the world that she is the conscience of her generation, someone must tell her, you may be the conscience of your generation, but you don't represent it. I really wish you did, Greta, but you don't. But I can show you who does. <laughs> Greta, you have 13 million followers on Instagram, which is great. But Kylie Jenner has 279 million, which is more. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who is the real influencer in that generation? The model citizen or the model? The young woman who refuses to fly or the one who refuses to fly commercial? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Greta gets where she's going on a sailboat powered by the wind. Kylie takes a private jet powered by Exxon. <laughs> and she's 21 times more popular. Now, this is not a screed against comfort or capitalism. I'm fond of both. And I give Kylie credit. She's built a massive business empire without ever releasing a sex tape. <laughs> and, li and like her dad, she's a self-made woman. But Kylie embodies and embraces a lifestyle that is pretty much the opposite of carbon neutral. And the younger generations fucking love it. Last week, Kylie posted a tour of her shoe closet, which houses well over a thousand pairs. She also has entire rooms of things she only's worn once. I don't think Greta would approve of that. <laughs> In polls, young people always claim to be more concerned about climate change than other generations, but they don't act like it. They throw around buzzwords like sustainable and shame people or forget to bring a cloth bag to Trader Joe's, but one of their favorite YouTubers is Mr. Beast, who's famous for stunts like, I gave my 40 millionth subscriber 40 cars. <laughs> Jason Derulo celebrated his 22nd millionth follower by eating 22 hamburgers. <laughs> the cognitive dissonance between planet-destroying conspicuous consumption and planet-saving rhetoric is breathtaking. You say you love Greta and her message, but everything else you love is a climate disaster. Oh, and also maybe by trading Bitcoin, the mining of which is worse for the environment than actual mining. <laughs> Cryptocurrency uses more energy than Netflix, Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google combined, and more than some entire nations. And yet young people could not love it more if it came with a side of avocado toast. <laughs> Ninety-four percent of crypto buyers are either millennials or Gen Z, which makes it ring a little hollow when you're out there chanting for us to put the planet ahead of profits. And what do crypto fans say about this? They say, well, yes, it uses too much energy now, but in the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, the future. That's right. Same thing my generation said. Let them handle it in the future. I'll get mine now. Like Bitcoin. The smartphone is a huge contributor to carbon emissions because the cloud isn't an actual cloud, of course. It's a vast network of servers using energy. And all that liking and following and subscribing requires lots of fossil fuels. And yet you would need the jaws of life to pry a phone out of the hands of anyone under 30. Well, Last year, when Australia was devastated by wildfires, Greta reminded us that we still fail to make the connection between the climate crisis and ex increased extreme weather events. Kylie, too, was moved by the disaster and tweeted about how the loss of animal life breaks her heart. Then she quickly followed up with a post of her new $1,500 Louis Vuitton mink slippers. <laughs> it's always so sad when fire kills potential slippers. <laughs> Kids, you're going to have to make a choice here. Do you want to be progressive or excessive? Team drastic or team plastic? When Kylie's lifestyle becomes uncool and unpopular and you stop loving Bitcoin and stop thinking that stuffing your face is harmless, I'll take you seriously. Until then, shut the fuck up about how older generations ruin the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.
we, we get it. Boomers dropped the ball on the environment. We did. We dropped it like it was hot. <laughs> and for that, I can only say, whoops. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We dropped it. But have you picked it up? I wish your generation was better than mine. I really do. But the sad truth is, we're completely the same. Lots of talk, and at the end of the day, hopelessly seduced and addicted to pigging out on convenience, luxury, and consumption. So that's it. You can either be the fake tits and private jet generation or the one that saves the planet, but you can't be both.